uh, Drew, in your situation, your kids are older. My kids are in middle school, Drew. And it's hard. You know, you can teach me, Drew, because it's hard for me to totally like back up a little bit and let kids figure things out, which I know they need to do. So, Drew, when you your kids were in that age, what did you do? Of course, you have to be on them to a certain extent. But I tried to teach by example. I was busy. And you have to let them find their own way, navigate through their studies and their friends, make mistakes. It's you learn through the learning process. Middle school is hard to be a parent. Wow. It's, you know, you go from having these kids who are like puppies, like, oh, dad, help me. Let's do it together. The kids who are a little bit more like cats, like who gave you a key and what are you doing here? Right. And, and it's at the time where you can see exactly the mistakes they're making and how it might impact them. And so you want to save them from that because you love them so much. It's all this empathy. I got to tell you, my kid, I mean, sometimes I'm not even allowed to look at him. Like he comes down the steps. Looking at him is a crime. It's like, what's going on here? It's not the easiest of things. So at that age when they're they're least likely to want to listen to your advice anyway, it's probably better for them if you kind of lots of empathy. They really want to know that we're noticing and paying attention, but they want us to wait until they ask for help. I agree 100%. I definitely feel like kids need to also uh, not only learn from their mistakes, but parents should also be on the sidelines supporting them, but also having those intentional and hard and honest conversations. Having those hard and honest conversations and letting them know the consequences to some of their decisions that they're making, they have to also be able to feel.